what's up today we're going to be continuing on with our build of the godzilla gs 60 centimeter kits uh today we're at uh, number 23 but uh some some brief uh, good news here before we get started uh you may recall a few kits back in kit number 20 we received the wrong piece from diagostini uh they have sent us the new piece uh the replacement from the uh, wrong piece that they sent and in addition to that this also came so you may recall we were supposed to get the free gift uh for completing the first 15 kits uh, i'm happy to say not only uh did it arrive but it's not paper it is in fact a high quality like cloth so i'm really pleased with that i'm pleasantly surprised and uh overall the whole issue with the uh, wrong part diagostini was very cool about it um great customer service and very apologetic and uh the piece arrived promptly uh as did the uh banner so yeah um good on them for uh all the great service so let's take a look at our kits and get started all right so here's the kits we got the kit number 23 we got the Godzilla Chronicle doing uh, <laughs> more invasion in the Astro Monster. We got the uh, Zillion, the x gene uh, behind the scenes stuff. There's a ship. <laughs> There's some inappropriate boob action. And the construction of Godzilla suit. Really cool stuff. Uh, Mothra vs. Godzilla posters. Uh, breakdown of Angiris. And then our instructions. So, before we get building on this week's, uh, like I stated previously in the video, we did get that replacement part back from Diagostini. So, first things first. Let's, uh, all right, yeah, so as you can see, they are in opposite directions. So First, we need to remove this piece off of here and get it on to the proper piece. No problem. Now, this piece should fit properly onto our Godzilla figure. Cool. Alright, so. There's his arm fixed. Excellent. So, we're free to move on to the next step, which is going to be these guys. So this is going to be part of the casing. This is the other half. Now we have all these cylinders here and these rubber o-rings which will go over them and these are basically just going to be sliding uh you know kind of uh, pulleys so first we have to cut these out and what we they want us to do is cut them with slack so you know you want to leave a bit of space here there's the first one, and now we fit one of the uh, rings over it, and then place it into this thing like such, and we're going to do that with each piece. Cradle. Alright, so now... 
this case. Yeah. This may be difficult. I'm gonna try and get these all seated in here and then close this casing. Oh, nope, oop, disastrous. Hmm. Cool. Alright, that's got it. Alright, they're all spinning, so that's good to go. So, take a look at that. And how this is going to work, I have no idea, but basically, it would appear this goes down here somehow, and it's going to allow the tail to pivot on some sort of axis. Or it's just a support for the bottom of the tail, and this will go along the floor and uh, roll like that. It's unclear. Anyway, next week it looks like we're going to have some uh, wiring harness and uh, two, two braces of some kind. So uh, we'll see you then for kit 24. Until then, thanks so much for watching. Please uh, click that like button and uh, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you next week for kit number 24 of our Diagostini build. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.